Hey sushi fans, thanks for checking back for another video. So if you're wondering what a scamp is, it's actually a very popular type of grouper in Florida. And it's regarded as one of the best eating grouper in the area by many locals. And in my opinion, it's way better than some of the more commercialized groupers like gags or reds. And I like it because the texture is softer and it's smoother than the other groupers. And besides using it for sushi, I think it's also the perfect fish for steaming too. And unlike other groupers, scamps have very clean and healthy looking meat. A lot of the groupers we get here have worms everywhere, um, especially the red groupers where the fillets are notorious for having parasites. But I haven't really experienced this with um, scamps. For some reason, they are less prone to parasitic infections, and for this reason, I only use scamps for sushi um, if I had to pick which kind of grouper to use. Scamp is not an oily fish like salmon, so the flavor is very subtle and smooth, sort of like flounder. Uh, it's very soft, but the meat doesn't break apart easily. So it's not a hard fish to work with. Um, if you're careful, you should be fine. If you're new to eating sashimi, this is a great fish to try out since the flavor is not as intense as something like mackerel. And since the taste is so smooth, you can try sprinkling a touch of salt to enhance the flavor a little bit, uh, especially if you don't want to go heavy on the soy sauce. You can also try, try with ponzu, which is what I did at the end. Alright guys, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. And by the way, if you don't want to do sushi, I would highly suggest steaming the whole fish uh, Chinese style. Check out some of the recipes online, but normally it always calls for soy sauce, rice wine, scallion, and ginger. Uh, this is really my favorite way of enjoying scamp. It's really good, trust me. And also, I just want to thank all the people on Facebook for help sharing my last video on Blue Runner Sushi. It got a lot of attention and it seems like people either love it or they were totally disgusted by it. Um, it just goes to show that a lot of people will find something distasteful purely because it was presumed to be bad eating or because it was used as bait. Um, I just think it's funny that some people won't ever try Blue Runners because it's considered bait but they'll happily pay a lot of money for eating shrimp and squid when they dine out. Um, just something to think about, so I always tell people don't knock on something until you try it. And if you haven't done so, please check out my Facebook page and subscribe. Thanks.
right. Oh, man, what are you doing? You're the nor you normally horse those things. No, I don't want to. This one is forcing me. All right. Nice work. This is a nice fish. Is it? Nice fish. Yes, sir. Oh, my. oh he's a big beast. Nice! Look at a fire oh truck. God. He's a beast! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Look at him barely hooked. Oh yeah, baby. He is barely hooked. Look at that in horse him. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Wow, barely. Look That's a nice fish. Very nice.